All right, hi everybody. It's me, Bonka922. Um, got some kind of. I kind of went crazy in the Game of Thrones after thoughts last night, so I apologize to anyone who was offended. One guy uh, decided to say I'm a unibrow caveman, and I blocked his ass. He has his icon is of a luchador. I really don't give a shit. You can go fuck yourself. Really. Piece of shit. Anyway. Arse. Uh, yeah, I kind of uh, <laughs> been slacking on the arsenal. Arson Senki. This is really just going to be episode 10. You know, episode 9 pretty much was Darian and Narciss. They basically infiltrate um, the capital and they find a few out. I find out a few things. They encounter someone. They counter someone with a mask on, and he's got burn marks on him. That's that's Hermes, obviously. Her, her, I think it's Hermes, right? Hermes. And they encounter him, and they have a little fight with him. He moves, moves his mask. He's like, ah, he's got like this. He's, he's, you know, I don't want to say it. I'm not gonna say it. Prince Zuko. Well, he's obviously not a prince, but he's Zuko. That's pretty much what he is. He's got a burn mark in his fucking face. Um, they have a little fight. And he's like, you know, it's kind of stupid because, like, he agitated Darian during the scene. And Darian just lets him have it and he moves his mask. He's like, ah! I don't like, he's, he's going to, I'm not going to say he's going completely emo, but he goes kind of psycho there. But, you know, they have a little duel there and then they leave. In episode 9, there was that kid that Arslan saved, the slave, and now he owns a little regiment. Listen. I'm sorry. This kid's annoying as fuck. I'm sorry. He's annoying as fuck. He, he's upset. He obviously was pissed because Arslan tells him that his friends died. And he just throws that, he's got a book, okay? Here's the problem I have with the people who took over Pars. They're using their religion as a justification. And Personally, that's stupid. I'm sorry, that's stupid. That's stupid. Because if you're using your religion as justification, why are you butchering people like that? I, it, it doesn't fit. And this kid's like throwing the read that, read that, he's pushing, he throws it to the arsenal, he's like, read it, read about our God. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. This isn't a church sermon. Like, really? Is this so... Get out of here. It's so stupid. But anyway, when's on ha that piece what happened next. Not really much. Just just an altercation. Really, was the altercation with Darren, a uh, narcissist, against this guy, Har Harmies. And after that, we have episode 10, which is pretty much them going to this encampment that is of Pars soldiers of this guy um, for his fortress. <laughs> And, um, it's kind of sneaky. Not really all for, um, Arslan. Because Arslan basically announces to him what he intends to do. And what he intends to do is set the slaves free. And he kind of doesn't like it. Because basically he gives him two proposals when he's in bed. He's about to go to bed. One is for him to marry his his daughter, Arthurslin to marry his daughter, and the other is to not get rid of slavery. This is kind of interesting because this, you know, Arthurslin's like the, I'm not going to say Abraham Lincoln here, but he, he's really trying to do it, and he's finding it very difficult. So pretty much what ends up happening, he doesn't do what he wants, this guy, Arthurslin, and in his fortress, and they end up leaving, and they end up killing the guy, and Arslan tries to set free the slaves that are there, it doesn't work out, and this is all Prince Narciss basically tells him why this is, and it's basically because even though they're slaves, this guy, his name eludes me. 
Carlar? Collar? Collar? But anyway, he was a good master, and that's probably why they attacked him and it was, they were pissed off the slaves. So this is a very, very, very hard thing for Arslan to go through. Um, to try to free the slaves, to get back his kingdom. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I will, will say this about Hermes, this guy. Okay, yeah, he has, he has, no, he definitely has a qualm to that, that throne, to an extent. But, the problem I have is this. Does he have any intention of making the kingdom better? I don't think so. Not the way he acts. Not the way he acts. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Especially when you consider the fact he has a sorcerer with him. Sorcerer, evil sorcerer. Sorry, I'm going to deny it. Sorry. I don't I'm not gonna complain about this guy and say he's emo, but I am gonna say I don't think he's fit to the job. Not not to be emperor of parts. He is. He is. Maybe when, if he was, his father didn't get killed, then I would say differently. But because he did, and he's very evil looking, and he just, he's just, no. He's not qualified. As far as uh, Ars the kid Arslan saved, I would take that book he gave to Arslan, and I'd wipe my ass with it. I'm dead serious. I would wipe my ass with it. Because I'm just going to look at him and say, Hey, kid. No. I'm sorry. But uh, this book here about your god doesn't mean jack shit. Your your people are just using a justification to, to cause, to, to, to commit war, to commit brutalities, and to take over other countries. That's all it is. It means absolutely nothing. At least that's just my opinion on it. Because it just seems like very this this whole religion of the Lithuanians the Lithuanians is so fake. I'm sorry, it's so fake. Because you look at how they act, and no, no, it, it's not. They're not. No, I just say no. But as far as episode nine was concerned, good episode. But episode ten, this one was a lot better. Um, 4.5 out of 5, done better well, um, just because of the fact that they were on the road, and, um, they're on their way. Now, next week's episode, it seems like they encounter something else. Yeah, they encounter this, um, other installment, and they basically split up. Because they're trying to find this area. Which we see in the end of episode 10. This guy. Who is another general or king I think. Of Pars. That they're going to try to get to. That way they have some allies. Because they right now they're outnumbered. They just. They need allies. They need, they need to create some kind of front. In order to get the capital back. So. Logistically that's what I think should be going down. Very soon. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the story. Um, uh, Bonkai 22. Um, I'm going to upload this in Penny Dreadful. Yeah. Um, this week I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. Because there's no One Piece chapter this week. So. Toriko. Yeah, probably. Toriko. Probably Wednesday. I might do two, but I'm probably just going to do one. It'll probably just be one, and then maybe Saturday I'll do another one live stream of Toriko. But let's let's wait and see, because um, Taizai came out. I have to do that as well. So, but until then, I'm Bonka922. See you guys later. I'm sorry, that kid who Arslan said, I'm sorry. I, I don't like him. He's... <sighs> the whole... The whole... Country that took over Pars. Fake. Their religion is fake. Their leader is 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 basically has his own means. General now Herms Hermes. Now 
That's the way it is. I'll see you guys later.